Okay, we'll get started. Um, we'll start in a child's pose, please. So just start to settle your hips down to your heels. Bring your forehead to the mat. Find a space that's comfortable and relatively easy. So you could play around even here, give yourself options. Legs can be pressed or spread apart so your torso hangs in between your thighs. You can extend the arms in front of you or bring them back to frame the sides of your body with your palms face up. And just start to check in uh, with what is. So the sensations that you might feel right now arriving on your mat, uh, the thoughts, the emotions that you feel. Uh, I think it can be really helpful throughout the practice and starting now to lay the groundwork and the foundation um, of acceptance, of non-judgment, of non-critique of yourself. Because I think that throughout the class, whether things show up, you know, maybe this is like an easy space for you, an easy calming place, whether they show up like this, or they show up like a big challenge. Um, there's lessons and teachings and, and things of value through all parts, through all parts of the road, through all parts of the journey. So just breathe. Start to shift your attention to make it really simple. Feel your inhales expand and feel your exhales release. So just start to check in, hear the sound of your breath. Notice the spaces that expand and lift with your breath. And over your next couple of cycles, start to make it a little fuller. Start to make it a little deeper, a little bit more intentional. And know that throughout the practice that the breath that you breathe is, is the practice. So every inhale you take and every exhale you take is, is the thing that you're practicing, shifting your awareness more internally uh, and letting that be the measure of success. If at any point things feel stuck, especially with breath, you can always come back to this child's pose at any point throughout the class. Uh, but for now, when we start, let's start as a group. So just start to expel your breath out with an SA sound. Get totally, totally, totally empty. Take a deep, 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 deep breath in all the way to the top. Hold it right at the top. And then release it with an HA sound. Uh, okay, so if you're newer to Yoga to the People classes, we uh, often cue a sound with a uh, breathless sound or vibration. It's a great way to relieve tension. Please use it whenever you wish. Let's try it once more. Empty out your lungs, totally SH. Take a really deep breath in, fill it up all the way to the top. Suspend it at the top, linger in it, and then HA. Ha. Great. All right. Over your next breath, crawl your fingertips really far forward. So reach so far forward that you start to tense up onto your fingertips. Feel your wrists lift off the mat and your elbows. Nice. And keep your hips heavy toward your heels as you do it. Take a little sway side to side of the forehead. Massage that space in between your two eyes. And then start to spread your fingers really wide. Feel the webbing between every finger stretch and expand. And then ripple your weight forward into all fours. Come onto a tabletop. So stack your shoulders right over your wrists your hips over your knees. We'll just take a few cat cow tilts. As you inhale, shift the gaze up toward the ceiling or toward the sky, wherever you're at, and let your belly drop toward the floor. And then as you exhale, scoop in your belly. So pull your navel into the front of your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, and lift the back of your heart to the ceiling. Great. Inhale, look up. Uh, press slightly into the heel of your palms. Pull them toward your knees to draw your chest forward, shoulders down the back. Beautiful. Exhale. Round the spine, curl it in, and then just continue to move through these cat-cow tilts at the rhythm, at the pace of your own breath. So really wonderful, simple moment to connect moving body and breath at the same time. Feel it be fluid, it would be kind of not natural. So if it feels good to roll the head or sway the hips or swing your rib cage in circles, Flip your palms around to stretch your wrists. Totally feel free. Great. All right, over your next couple of moments, just start to make your way back into a flat back where we started. So on all fours, a neutral spine. When you get there, reach the right arm forward so your bicep frames your ear and then kick back through your left leg. All right, so 
Let it be really active, all parts. Spread your left fingers really wide. Press firmly into your palm. Press firmly into your right knee. Energetically pull your left palm and your right knee toward each other to really light up your core. Scoop your navel in toward your spine. Keep reaching long. Really active, reach through fingertips and toes, but let the jaw be soft and the gaze be soft. Take an inhale to extend. On your exhale, it's elbow to knee underneath you. You're gonna curl your body in toward the toward center. Scoop belly in, elbow to knee, chin to chest. Great, inhale, reach long. Exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest, navel to spine. Awesome, inhale, reach long. Once more, elbow to knee. Feel your core light up, take navel into front of spine. Inhale to extend, lengthen the arm and the leg, and then bend your back knee. Swing your arm back behind you and grab your foot. Point through your back, big toe. Drive your kick up. Drive your kick up. Draw your shoulder blades together behind you and try not to drop your skull. So think of the channel a little bit off of chest. That looks great. Give it one more inhale to kick, 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 and then release. Reach long to the arm and the leg for a breath. And then exhale, soften it down. Hand down, knee down. Then right to the opposite side. So extend your left arm forward and kick back through your right leg. Now, as you do that, you wanna turn your left palm to the right so that your left shoulder blade can soften down the back. And then try to lift your arm a little higher by your ear. Beautiful. Take an inhale, extend, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee, chin to chest. Shh. Inhale, reach long, lengthen, extend. And exhale again, elbow to knee, chin to chest, belly to spine. Okay, once more. Inhale, extend, lengthen, lift. Exhale, elbow to knee, hug everything to center like your whole body's a little fist, and then inhale to extend, lengthen, lift, and start to bend at your back knee. Grab through your foot, firm grip to the palm, try to get no kink in the wrist, so really strong grip with the fingers, and then let your shoulder get pulled back behind you with the power of your kick. Feel your chest open up, arch your lower back, arch your middle back, arch your upper back. Beautiful, Phil. Give it one more inhale to kick, 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 and then release and reach. Extend to the arm and the leg. And exhale, release it down. Right into those cat-cow tilts, just like you did moments before. Without hesitation, just start to smooth it out. If anything feels stuck, maybe a, a flutter of the lips can be helpful to release the jaw, a swing around of the head to release the neck. And then when you get into a rounded spine, pause there. Right, keep your chin tucked. Now tuck your toes under, lift your knees like an inch off the floor. Just really, 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 really small space. Awesome, so keep everything contained right through center. So knit your ribs in, pull your navel in toward your spine. Keep your chin tucked, don't wait for it to be over and instead focus on the sensation and breathe softly, softly inside of it. Okay, so slowly expel your breath. Take an inhale deep through the nose, fill up back body. Exhale, hips high, downward facing dog and move it around. So start to bend your knees, start to pedal your feet out. Just kind of wake up the body, feel how everything is showing up today. Maybe a few hops, maybe roll forward into a plank, back into a down dog. Nice, yeah. And then we'll clean it up. So start to pause and notice the hands, spread the fingers, press firmly from the heel of your palms, right where your fingers meet your, your palms, so the underside of your knuckles and the pads of your fingertips. Shove the floor away with your hands, use the muscles of your arms, lift your hips higher to shift more weight back into your legs. Heavy the heels down toward the mat, and then press your chest toward your thighs. Really awesome. Inhale, lift your right leg up. First, only level to the floor, so halfway. So kick away from your hands. Awesome, Maggie. And then inhale to lift it up high, roll it open, and stack one hip on top of the next, and just start to move freely on the right side. So you might make circles with the knee, feel your hip socket, stretch your leg high, move it in a way that feels like you can bring more attention to, to this side of your body. Great, yeah, whatever feels good, just do it. Awesome, inhale, kick back, reach through your long leg, and then slowly float your foot to the floor. And on your next breath, float your left leg up. So again, keep your fingers spread, uh, kick away from your hands, kick all the way to the wall behind you, and then inhale to float it up high and roll open and stack your hips and move freely into the left side of your body. Two sides of body often not symmetrical or not feeling the same. So honor whatever shows up, move in a big way, small way. Looks great, everyone. Great, inhale, kick back, reach through your leg and then slowly float your foot to the floor. I'll take a soft bend behind your kneecaps, look between your palms and walk to the front of your mat and we'll meet in a forward fold. 
So you can set up your feet to a comfortable distance. It might be like inner hip twist and allow yourself to really release. So if it's a shake out of the head that helps release the neck, you could softly bend your knees, really drape your torso heavier down your thighs. Awesome. All right, we'll take a half lift here. So inhale to reach long through your spine. Press your palms into your shins or maybe your thighs. Scoop your navel in to reach your heart forward. Extend back through your tailbone and draw your shoulders away from your ears down your back as you reach forward through your collarbones. Take a deep breath. Exhale, fall forward. I'll do that again, just married with breath, a little swifter. Inhale, feel space between every vertebrae as you reach the chest forward. Awesome, exhale, release, forward fold. Following, inhale, rise up up into your mountain pose. So stand tall. It's an extended reach. So you're going to bring your arms up to frame your ears. Once you arrive, really arrive. Close your eyes. Drop your mind into the soles of your feet. Plug into all corners of your feet, big toes, heels, pinky edges. All right, plug into the body of your feet and contract your thighs so your kneecaps lift up in space. Anchor down through your tailbone, scoop in the belly and lift your chest higher, but keep the shoulders soft. Keep reaching long through your inner elbows, through your pinky fingers, and keep the jaw soft and the gaze steady. Empty out your breath with an S-H. Inhale, deep breath through the nose. And release that breath. Ah. Following inhale, flutter open the eyes. Look up, grow tall like you touch the ceiling. Reach up and start to go back for your first back bit. Hips forward, heart high, reach back. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go as you exhale. Okay, following inhale, rise up into your mountain pose and flow right into your back bend. So I'm gonna get one sweeping motion, reach up to go back and exhale, release, forward fold. Take it once more on your own, inhale, rise up. Think hips forward, think chest to the ceiling and use your arms to reach back. Beautiful, exhale, release, forward fold. We'll meet there in our forward fold. Let it be heavy, let it be released and then half lift, long spine. Exhale, let it go. Plant your palms, step your feet back, and pause in an upper push-up plank. Okay. We'll set up our plank. You want your heels stacked over your big toes, the backs of your knees pressing up to the ceiling, so really active legs. Feel your tailbone anchor back towards your heels, your navel pull in, and your pubic bone draw toward your navel. Think energy reaching forward to the roof of your mouth as your gaze is down with a long neck. Looks really great, y'all. All right, let's set up our flow. If you ever need support, you can bring your knees down. Inhale to shift your body weight forward a little bit. Exhale, lower halfway. Bend your elbow straight back. Inhale, scoop up your chest for up dog. Press straight through arms. Press through tops of feet. And then exhale, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up to the ceiling for downward facing dog. So that's our flow. Try to make it really connected with breath every time. Exhale. Inhale. And release it. Ah. Right, inhale, float your right leg up and back. And exhale to step your foot really softly in between your palms. Keep your back heel lifted, keep your left hand down and float your right arm up as you roll open, you start to find the twist. Try to keep your front knee bent a little bit more, that way your hips can stay level. Pull your right hip back. Great, roll under through your left shoulder, that looks really great, Sarah. And then reach a little taller, like you're trying to pull your arms away from each other. Give it a deep breath. And then exhale your hand down to frame your foot. Spiral your back heel down so it's flat to the floor, about 45 degrees. Or your one. Float your arms up to frame your face. And, and try to keep that pretty deep bend to your knee. And if you feel trouble squaring off your hips, come out of that lunge a little bit. You can widen your stance a little bit. And then feel for pulling your right hip back. Connect and close your eyes. Plug into the pinky edge of your back foot. Plug it down and pull up on your left thigh, and then bump your left hip a little bit more forward. Awesome. Now keep the squareness of your hips, your right armpit rolling forward, and start to sit a little lower into that lunge. Take an inhale to reach up, look up, and go a little bit back, and then peel open into a warrior two. So start to open up your stance, because before our hips were squaring to the front, and now they're opening up to the side. So as you reach forward through your inner uh, front thigh, your inner front knee, again, continue to plug away through that back foot to peel your hip back and then feel your tailbone anchor down towards your heels as you lift your chest. Now soften the things you don't need to hold you here. So relax the shoulders, soften the jaw, and most especially still the eyes. 
Give it one more inhale to sit low and pull your armpits away from your chest. And then exhale to cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step your front foot back to meet your back and travel through your flow. Take a deep inhale and up dog. And really full exhale to float your hips up, downward facing dog. When you get into down dog, float high through your left leg. Awesome, exhale, step it really softly in between your hands. Keep your back heel stacked over big toe and float left arm up. So keep your right hand down and your left arm up. And you can always play around with it as well. So if your back knee off the ground doesn't feel like it's helping you get a good twist, you can play around with dropping your back knee down, but try to keep squaring up your hips as much as possible. Left hip back, roll under through right shoulder, chest a little closer toward inner thigh. Give it one more breath to extend and then exhale your hand down to the floor. Rotate your back foot down about 45 degrees and it's warrior one on your left side. So settle into that deep bend in your knee. Feel the squareness of your hips, right? You're always using strength to facilitate moving into deeper flexibility, right? So feel for your heels digging down, your legs strong and active, and then I way of that more openness to the hip space, a little lower. Take an inhale to grow tall, reach up, lift your chest and reach a little bit back, slight back bend, and then expand open into your warrior two. You got it as you widen your stance and continue to uh, sit low into that lunge. And especially here, dig your heels into the floor and energetically feel for them pulling toward each other. Right? That's gonna help light up your inner thighs, the base of your pelvis, which is gonna help bring strength and structure to the spine. So keep your chest lifted, shoulders soft, maybe take your gaze forward over your front shoulder. Get a few inches deeper. Get one more inhale to pull your arms wide. Exhale, cartwheel your palms down to the floor, step your front foot back, and then travel through your flow. And now when you make your way back into downward facing dog, you're gonna take that as a one breath, one movement. So simply means do it on your own. Right side, left side, take it, take your time, move as slow as you wish, move as fast as you wish. Um, you know, so many external factors can dictate things throughout our life or can shift things from one thing to another. There's a lot of control in which we can facilitate and build and grow uh, just simply by shifting our attention more inward. Um, it's work. Um, but it's good work. So continue to shift your gaze more inward. If something feels awesome, great. If it feels like a struggle, even greater, right? Use that struggle to move deeper into some sort of space. The strength, if it's resilience, take your time. Now make sure, try to keep every, um, every moment a choice, whether that's choosing to work at like 200% of your effort or 50, uh, keep it all really mindful. So when you get back into down dog, keep spreading your fingers, pressing the floor away, keep lifting your seat like you're trying to sit on the ceiling. Same goes for child's pose. If you're in child's pose, it's really restful. It's like as restful as it can be. Wherever you are, Fill out your breath. Inhale, deep, 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 deep breath in. And release. Ah. All right, look forward, bend your knees, step or hop to the front of your mat. If you're still moving, take your time, no rush. When you get to the front of your mat, take a half lift right away. Heart forward, tailbone back. Exhale, release, forward fold. All right, so we're gonna find three different variations of chair. So on your inhale, sit your hips low, lift your arms up, chair. Pretty similar to what you, or it is what you're used to in yoga for people classes, vinyasa classes that is. So as you do it, you just try to sit low, like you're sitting in a little chair, bend your knees. Then the weight more back into your heels and feel your sits bones pull down and back. Slight anchor of tail that makes that makes sure you're using your low back strength as you scoop in your belly and lift your chest. Try to lift your arms higher by your ears. Great, soften the jaw, sit two inches deeper. Deep, deep, deep breath in. 
Inhale, forward fold, release, let it go. Really nice work. On your following inhale, you're gonna rise up and stand up into a mountain pose. So rise up, bring your arms up by your ears like the beginning of class, and then just drop them down so they're just completely parallel to the floor, kind of like Frankenstein art. Take an inhale to lift your chest, grow tall, and as you exhale, bend your knees, sit down and sit back. Your feet are about hips width, same idea as before, but now really especially feel your sits bones pulling more back toward the wall behind you. Counteract that down and back motion by how much you can lift your chest. You got to use your core. So scoop your belly in, lift your chest up, press it a little forward. Keep the shoulders soft down the back and extend that reach from your armpits through your fingertips. So one more inhale. And then exhale, just stand straight up and pause. Try to keep the arms lifted. Really great work. Now plug into your big toes, lift your heels up, and roll them forward so they're stacked over your big toes. Keep the height of your heels. Now start to rebend your knees. Sit down and sit back. Now instead of sticking your butt out, tuck your tail underneath you. That way your lower back is long. Imagine your back is completely flat against the back wall. Yeah, totally. It's some balance. So if you fall, just try to come right back. It's totally part of it. Try to lift up so your bottoms of thighs are only parallel to the back. Beautiful. Give one more inhale here. Slow and steady. Rise back up. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Now release your heels and let it go. Great. Release into a forward fold, let it go, take a half lift, deep breath in, and exhale, drop. Plant the palms, step or hop back, and travel to your full deep breath in up dog. And really complete exhale, hips to the ceiling, downward facing dog. You get into down dog, it's right leg. Lift it up. Exhale your foot really softly in between your hands. Spiral your back heel down. Rise up into a warrior one. Settle into it for a beat, low seat, rib cage floating off the face. Open up into warrior two as you As you peel open into warrior two, take your gaze toward your front palm, flip it to the ceiling, reach it forward and find a reverse warrior. So focus on height first. To get lifted out of your waist, scoop your belly in and lift your side ribs a little higher. Roll your bottom shoulder underneath you so that you can really fan open your side ribs. Sit a couple inches deeper. Great, one more inhale, so reach a little further back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor. Step your front foot back into your plank and pause. Bring your legs together and bring your left palm to the center of your mat. Side plank, side arm balance. And float your right arm to the ceiling. So try to stack everything in one straight line, two shoulders, two arms, your hips on top of each other. Great. Now, Couple things, if you need support, you can drop your bottom knee down and keep your legs stacked and start to open it up. So think hips up, ribs up, maybe even your top leg floats off your bottom leg and swipe your top arm over your face. Give it one more breath. Exhale, hand down and flow. Deep breath and up dog. Draw your shoulder blades down and press your hips forward. Beautiful, exhale, hips high. Downward facing dog, great, beautiful, upward facing dog feel. Inhale, float your left leg up, and exhale with control, plant your foot in between your hands, spiral back heel down, warrior one, and then peel open into your warrior two. So when you set up your feet, your stance, look toward your front palm, lift it, reach it forward, and then reach up, up, up. So that slight reach forward can be helpful to feel for length across your right side body. You gotta maintain that idea of length across both sides of your body. So no crunch, no collapse. Scoop your low belly in, then open your side ribs. Give it one more breath to extend through your fingertips. Nice exhale, cartwheel your palms down to the floor. Step your front foot back, pause into your plank, two legs together, right palm to the center of your mat, and flip your plank to the side. Think hips up to the ceiling, ribs up to the ceiling, and then play around with it. Go for the float of your leg. If it's not something uh, you told yourself you're going to do, that's a great reason to do it, even if it's just like an inch. Go for it. Nice. Really great. Thea, give it one more inhale. And slowly bring your hand down and travel through your flow. And then it's a one breath, one movement. So the last one we'll do of class, take your time, right side, left side, uh, please. Feel free, and I encourage it to try to move with your eyes closed. It's a really simple uh, way to dive a little deeper, get more out of it, more balance, uh, 
more of an internal experience rather than being distracted. Even if it's just for like a second, try it and just keep trying it. All right, if you're still in the middle of that flow, keep moving with your breath. If you're back to down dog or child pose, catch your next exhale and spill it out totally. Inhale deeply, 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 and release. <sighs> Take a soft bend behind the knees, glance between the palms, step or hop to the front of your mat. Take a half lift and then release as you exhale. Just let your arms and your head hang heavy. Softly bend your knees, plug your feet into the floor, scoop your belly in and slowly roll up, really slow. Try to feel every little vertebrae stack on top of the next. Just let your arms dangle along the way, your head hang heavy until you reach the top. Try to slowly just settle back into place. Once your chin levels off, your eyes are closed, you can just keep them closed. Now slowly walk your feet together all the way to touch so your legs are zipped up. Just toe heel them close and float your arms up over your head. Press your palms together. Clasp at your thumbs and really press to the pinky edge of your hands. Take a breath to grow really tall and as you exhale, bend your knees, sit down and back for your thunderbolt. You want to face forward. Send the hips down and back. Keep the chest lifted and bring the arms back by the ears. Great, now feel the right arm, take it and swing it underneath your left. So it's an eagle wrap to the arms. Plug into your left foot, pick up your right leg, strength of low belly hip flexor, lift your right leg up and over, cross at your inner thigh first. And then if you're going for that double wrap, it's foot behind your calf, right? Point to the big toe, keep sending your hips a little lower and scoop in your belly and stand tall from the waist, right? Now listen closely, it's a funky transition. Unravel the arms, Bring your left arm up and bring your right elbow to your right face. Beautiful. Unravel your legs and then you're gonna grab your foot from the inside for a standing bow. Reach long through your left arm, kick powerfully into your right hand. So as you kick, you drive your kick up to the ceiling, you reach long and actively through your left arm and then arch your back as you do it. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Kick a little higher, reach a little further, come down for a three, or two, and then slowly kick to come out of it to control that exit. Great, release your foot, release your hand, shake it out if you felt any tension, really through that effort, just let it go. And then we'll come back to center. Two legs together, arms up, palms pressed, clasp the thumbs, take an inhale to grow tall, and then bend your knees, sit down and sit back. Keep the arms lifted for a second, arms by the ears, chest lifted, hips a little lower. Great, now feel your left arm and swing it underneath the right, cross elbows, wrists, get your palms to press, plug into your right foot, slowly pick up your left leg. Cross high up and over, it looks really great, awesome. Make sure your left hip, nice Devin, pull your left hip a little bit more back. Exactly, sit low, lift your chest, steady the gaze. Now slowly start to unravel the arms, this time it's right arm up, left elbow to left leg. Beautiful, unravel the legs, Grab your foot from the inside, the big toe side, so your palm is touching your arch. Kick into your hand, reach long through your right arm. Slow and steady, really powerful with the eyes, keep them fixed and keep them steady, that way you're not jarring the eyes around. Kick, reach, kick, 
three, first three, first two, and then slowly kick to come out of it. Beautiful work. Release the foot, release the arms. Tuck your chin into your chest. Feel the weight of your skull around your neck spine and slowly scoop in your belly and roll all the way down into a forward fold. Slow, steady. Awesome. When you get there, take a half lift. Long spine. Exhale, release. Plant your hands. Step your feet back and move through your flow. Full deep breath and up dog. Full exhale, downward facing dog. Slowly empty your lunge. Inhale, fill it up from the press of your hands, the lift of your hips, your heavy heels all the way to the top and release. Ah. All right, inhale, lift your right leg high. Step your foot in between your hands. Spiral the back heel down, warrior one. Float your arms up, great. Now keep your chest lifted, bring your arms behind you, interlace your fingers at the base of your spine. Now think of pulling your knuckles toward your back heel. Lift your chest, maybe a slight back bend. And then dive forward as you exhale for your humble warrior. Try to go past your knee, try to get to the inside of your knee. Awesome, plug away at your heels, release the weight of your skull. Squeeze your shoulders closer and maybe even draw your, your that fist a little bit more further forward toward the floor. Give it one more breath. Great, now release your hands to the inside of your foot, ankle bind. Bring your right arm behind your calf, right underneath your thigh. Hold hands with yourself at the front of your ankle. Now, if you need your support, you can always bring your back knee down. Try to keep your hips lifted and it's a rounded spine here. Deep breath in, full exhale out. You got it. Now unravel the arms, side angle. Right hand down to the inside of your foot. Just reach your left arm straight up. Try to keep that deep bend in your front knee. This sensation is a tool. It's pulling you back into the experience of your body. Don't run away from it. Focus on it. Send breath to it. Send the hips a little lower. Lean your chest back. Roll open. Take a deep breath. Now drop your top arm behind your back for a half bind. You're going to slide your hand into your inner thigh to help roll your shoulder back. Don't drop your chest. Lean back. Awesome. One more inhale. And then release it. Two hands to the inside of your foot and step your foot back and travel through the flow. Deep inhale and up dog. Full exhale, downward facing dog. All right, when you lift your hips up to the ceiling, float your left leg high up and back. Exhale, plant your foot really softly in between your hands, spiral back heel, warrior one. Plug into the feet, lift your chest and your arm. Stay low, grow tall, and then drape the arms behind you, interlace your fingers at the base of your spine. Pull your knuckles toward your back heel as you scoop your belly in, lift your heart up. Lift your chest and then dive forward to the inside of your thigh. Drop the heaviness of your skull. Keep plugging away at both your feet. And as best you can, try to keep squaring off your hips. So plug into your back big toe. To bump your right hip a little bit more forward. Okay, one more breath. And then release your hands to the inside of your foot for your ankle bind. Thread your left arm underneath your thigh, right behind your calf. Exactly. Exactly, you can totally bring your back knee down. That's really great, Amy. Now, yes, you got it, exactly. Drop your head, but even if your back knee is on the floor, lift your hips higher. One more breath, and then unravel that bind. Bring your hand down to the inside of your foot and float your arm up to the ceiling. Stack your shoulders, stack your arms, side angle. Keep uh, sitting a little lower into that lunge. Roll under through your left hip, your left butt. Lean the chest back. Take a breath. Bend and then drop your top arm behind your back. Now, now if, if you can go for the full bind, you're going to grab for your opposite hand underneath your, your thigh. You can start with that half bind. If it's not that, you can grab for clothing, shirt, pants, exactly. Roll your chest back, look up. Give it one more inhale to twist your chest open. Exhale, release it. Two hands down to the floor. Beautiful work. Step your front foot back and travel through a flow. Deep inhale and up dog. Full exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, all your breath away. Shh. Inhale, really, really, really full breath. Maybe your biggest yet. Deep breath. And release. Ah. 
Awesome work, y'all. One more last bit of push of effort before we slow it down. It's right leg up the mat. And then exhale, knee to forehead. So you're gonna tuck your chin, get your knee toward your forehead as close as it can come, try to keep the hips lifted and shove the floor away. Great, inhale, kick back. Exhale again, knee to forehead. Navel really pulled in towards spine, curl it in. Great, inhale to kick back. And then exhale, knee toward your forehead and step your foot really softly in between your palms. Drop your back knee down to the floor and come into a low lunge. Make sure your front foot is totally flat. So front big toe and heel on the floor. Prop yourself up on top of your thigh. Interlace your fingers just right behind the knee. Try to sit a little lower into that, into that lunge. Yeah, drop the hips a little bit. And then as you interlace your fingers on top of thigh, shove your thigh away. And off of chest, lift your chest up like you're literally trying to pick up your organs, pick up your heart, pick up your chest and press it on the ceiling and look a little back. Great, give it one more inhale. And then slowly roll back up. Place your hands down to the inside of your foot and it's a lizard pose. So two hands to the inside of your foot. Exactly. You can rock forward and back as you prop your uh, back knee up a little bit for a second, kind of ease into your hip space and then stop on a uh, back rock and slowly release your knee down. Or you can keep your knee lifted. Palms or elbows. Breathe where the sensation is. Try to slow down the breath, especially your exhales. All right, slowly start to empty your lungs. Deep breath in, let it fill up your belly, let it press against your hip. And release it. Ah. Slowly over your next couple of moments, prop your palms underneath your shoulders, get your front leg back, travel through a flow. Deep inhale and up dog, shoulders down, heart forward. Exhale, hips to the ceiling, downward facing dog. Awesome work, y'all. Inhale, float your left leg high up and back. Press the floor away, kick away from your hands, knee to forehead, tuck the chin. Navel to spine, gaze towards your navel. Great, inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee to forehead. Think of lifting the back of your heart and pressing it on the ceiling, lift your hips higher. Great, inhale, kick back. And then knee towards your forehead, use that strength to really softly step your foot in between your hands and then start to release your back knee down to the floor. Prop yourself up on top of your thigh. Again, totally make sure your front foot is flat. So if your back heel is lifted, if your front heel is lifted, walk your foot forward, think knee more over heel. Shove your thigh away, feel muscles slide against bone as you start to lift your chest, straighten out the arms, lift your heart, lift your organs, lift your chest, lift your chin off your chest and start to look a little bit back. Great, one more inhale here and then slow and steady, roll back up. Place your hands down to the inside of your foot and you can walk your foot more toward the side of your mat for your lizard pose. Again, feel free to prop up on your back big toe to lift your back knee up, kind of rock into it a little bit, stop on a rock, uh, back rock and then soften uh, your elbows down. And you don't have to bring your elbows down. You can stay on your palms if that's where you feel like you're at. Yeah, Adriana, that looks good. You can start with that outer elbow first and then work your way into your inner elbow. All right, and continue to focus on the sensation. The moment you start to pull away from it, come back to it. Use your breath to start to change and soften that internal landscape. Slowly spill out your breath. Inhale through the nose. 
and release. <sighs> Over your next moment, hands on your shoulders. Press the floor away, reach your front leg back. Move through your flow. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. All right, when you get back into down dog, inhale to float high through your right leg. And you're gonna sweep it into a half pigeon. So bring your knee wide and your foot more toward the opposite side of your mat. And you can play around with the placement of your knee if it's more toward the side or if it's more in front of you, it'll kind of um, change up how intense that stretch is. You can stay propped up on your palms and then start to work your way down to your elbows. Maybe your forehead starts to rest on the mat. And maybe your hands stay stacked under your shoulders. Truly, um, the attention towards the body placement is like a, a conduit for, for, for noticing your own best teacher, right? Because the yoga, our limbs, the things that we feel through sensation, through introspection, lead you to your, to your own best teacher, right? start to discover a little bit fuller, a little bit more dynamic, your relationship to, your, to yourself. So big feeling, read it, right? Big sensation, read it, observe it. Your exhale, press it out. Take an inhale, really full. And release. Give yourself a breath or two. And when you're complete with it, place your palms to the floor underneath you. Press up from the floor, reach back to your, your right leg. Uh, you can ease out of it as you wish if you need to take some cat cows or if you travel right through that flow into down dog. But when you get into down dog, uh, take it on your left side. On your left side. So put your left eye, draw your knee through to the side of your mat and reach back to your, your opposite leg. Slowly start to empty your lunch. Take a deep, 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 deep breath in. And release. 
Uh, over your next couple of moments, take your time. Press your palms to the floor. Press up away from the floor. Reach back to your front leg and travel through the last flow into the final downward facing dog of the class. When you get there, feel free to move it. It can be interesting to see how things shifted. We're moving for almost an hour, pedal the feet, bend your knees, take some hops around, and then we'll hold it one more time, last time. Take your time getting back to it, but when you're back in it, uh, feel your fingers spread wide. Lift your hips up to the ceiling and have your heels down to the floor. And press your chest to the wall behind you and toward your thighs. And inhale to roll the heart forward into an upper push-up plank. Pause here. Arm up your legs, sink heart forward, heels back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lower on your own count of 10. Bend your elbows straight back. Keep reaching long through the body, back through heels, forward through heart. Slowly, 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 slowly. Awesome. When you get down there, keep your chin on the mat. Bring your legs together. Interlace your fingers behind you, right at the base of your spine. Now squeeze your legs together, press your ankles together, and then lift everything up. So lift your legs, lift your chest and your chin. Keep pointing longer through your legs. So reach back through your big toes. Great, lift more of your thighs off the mat. Awesome, pull your knuckles back, roll the chest, press the chest forward at the same time. Take one more inhale to look up, pull back, lift your chest, and slowly lower all the way down. Bring your left ear to the floor, look to the right, and bring your arms back by your side. Just release the hands by your side. Palms can face up to the ceiling. Big toes can touch, heels can spill out to the sides. Maybe a sway of your hips to release your low back. Or an H-A-ha. Uh, can be nice and resonant with your body pressed against the floor. And then on your next breath in, you're gonna take your chin to the mat and look forward. Now this time, bend both of your knees. So kick your heels toward your butt and grab your feet from behind you. Grab toward your ankles. Gotta keep your legs close and parallel to each other. Soft shoulders and a kick. Kick into the hands so that you start to peel off the mat. Great. Now think chin away from chest. Think of arching your back, chest up, chin up, and then kick really hard through both sides of legs. Backs of thighs, front of thighs, point to the big toes. Give it one more inhale. Keep the shoulders soft, keep the breath steady and kick. Kick. Kick, slowly release. Opposite ear to the floor. Relax your arms by your side. And try to surrender your entire body weight into the ground. All right, now slowly bring your chin to the floor. Palms underneath your shoulders. Press up from the mat. Come to stand on your knees and your shins for a camel pose. All right, so bring your knees to about hips width, about two fists between them, and then place your hands on your lower back. Your fingers point down, pointing down. Draw your elbows together behind you, almost like they could touch. Now pick up your chest, lift your chest, lift your chin, and start to look back. Now, if you can see the wall behind you, you can grab for your heels. As you do that, keep pressing your pelvis forward, and imagine you're trying to stamp your heart on the ceiling. Like really lift your chest. Steady the, bra the breath. Breathe deep. You got it, Willow. Hips forward. Lift your chest up. Great. Do one more inhale. And slow and steady. Roll back up. Now sit your hips on your heels. Close your eyes right away. And pause. You can rest your hands on your thighs as best you can. Try not to fidget. See if you can allow yourself to, to just sit with whatever shows up. A breath to move easy, kind of like a wave. Empty your lungs out. Inhale, feel it lift your chest. Exhale, release. Right, and slowly start to flutter open the eyes, place your hands to the floor, and swing your legs out long in front of you. When you extend your legs out long, 
Bend your right knee. Keep your left leg extended. Just bend your right knee so your foot is on the floor. Great. And then step your right foot over your left knee. Place your right palm behind you at the base of your spine. Reach your left arm straight up and then hook it to the outside of your thigh and gaze over your right shoulder. Try to look behind your right shoulder. Keep sitting firmly on your sits bones. Scoop your belly in so you can really lift your chest up. Keep the shoulders soft and together down the back. Feel the inhales create space. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist. One more inhale. Inhale to lift. One more exhale to twist. Great, then slowly unravel it. You can twist to the left to find a little counterbalance with the spine, and then you'll switch out your legs. So extend the opposite leg, bend your left knee, step it up and over, place your left palm behind you and reach high through your right arm and hook it to the outside of your thigh. Imagine you could like hook the side of your ribs outside of your, keep that as like a visual cue. Try to keep standing straight tall from the base of your tail all the way through the roof of your mouth. Feel the inhales expand and lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, expand and lift. Exhale, twist. Great, unravel it. Reach both your legs out long. Reach your arms up to frame your ears. Take an inhale to grow really tall and then dive forward for a seated forward fold. Hinge at your hips, maybe grab for your feet. You can bend your knees to get a hold of them and then keep scooting your hips back behind you. Inhales to reach the heart forward and every exhale you take, pull yourself a little deeper. Give it one more breath and then slowly start to roll yourself up. Boots toward the middle of your mat. Take a bend to your knees, so soles of feet are on the floor. Reach your arms out straight in front of you, palms facing each other. Scoop your belly in, inhale, lift your chest high. Slowly roll down, all the way until you're laying flat on your back. Slow and steady. When you get to laying flat on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Grab for your, around your shins. See if you can grab maybe for your wrists, your forearms, or in your, maybe even your elbows. Try to soften the belly and feel it press against your thighs. Every inhale you take and every exhale you take, squeeze yourself in tight. Maybe you roll left and right to roll out your back. Bring the soles of your feet together for a supine butterfly. So reach your arms to your legs, grab to the pinky edges of your feet. Imagine and you're trying to stick your butt out behind you, so roll your low back down to the floor. At the same time, pull your feet up and in towards your heart. Awesome, and then it's a happy baby. So kick your, your feet up to the ceiling. Pull down on the edges of your feet, like you can put your knees into your armpits. And if you want to, you can extend the leg or both your legs out long, feel the backs of your thighs stretch out. Take a little lip flutter to unhinge the jaw, let it soften. Take a really deep belly breath in. And release it. <sighs> I'll slowly release your feet and lay your legs flat to the floor. Relax your arms softly by your sides. Turn your palms up to face the ceiling. And close your eyes. And whatever you contain, try to surrender yourself to the, to the support of the floor. Even if that's like the feeling of wanting to fidget, notice if you can like hold your stillness lightly. Try not to cling to it with like a really tight fist. Like surrender with your, with your fidgetiness. Or surrender with your, your calm. Try to let your jaw be soft. Let the uh, your eyeballs be soft, the space through your inner ear and behind your eyeballs. Let everything drop. I'm going to read a quote as you lay in your savasana. This is called Wild Geese, and it's by Mary Oliver. 
you do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees through a hundred miles in the desert repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I'll tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies, over the deep trees, over the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese, I and the clean blue air are headed home again. So whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination. And it calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting over and over, announcing your place in the family of things. We'll take one last breath together, empty your lungs. Take an inhale really deep, fall all the way to the top, and release it. Ah. Welcome to linger for as long as you wish in your savasana. Uh, you could also roll over to one side and then slowly start to press yourself up and away from the floor and come to seated, or you're welcome to stay laying in your seat. Awesome. Thank you all so much for your practice today. Really, really wonderful job. And always a pleasure to share this uh, virtual space with you. Um, donations are suggested. They're never required. Uh, if you can, 12 is suggested. If you can't, just spread the word. Post it in your stories. Thank you very much. Uh, just continue to get more people involved. And it's a really great way to stay grounded and centered. Um, thank you all so, so, so much. I posted the link for the donations in the chat. So if you want to donate, it's there. Um, if you're doing the fellowship for the Vinyat, for the TT, for the Yoga to the People teacher training, and you're listing your classes, uh, my Instagram handle is just Terrence Anderson. Um, thank you all so, so much. Really wonderful work and see you.